So what can you notice? So I'm talking about this, takes a little longer, but in the end, you can kind of get this. I can, I can notice you know, which stars are brighter than other stars. And I know that they're ranked. I don't have to memorize all the ranks, but there's rankings, and I can look those up, and we'll talk about this region and everything. Um, some stars are too dim. They appear too dim for us to see, maybe because they're far away, or maybe they're not giving off a lot of light. With a, uh, with a camera or a telescope, you can actually see a lot more. I don't know if you can pick that up. But you can't see anything between that triangle, but then with this, you start picking up a lot more. Uh, let's see if I can get a, a lot more dots, right? Oh, but for thousands of years, people didn't know they existed. You'd like to know distance, but they look, right? They look like they're all here. In reality, some are closer, some are farther. But you can't know that without some careful equipment and measurements of how long. They didn't know how far away they are, light years away, long distance away. And these are the ones that are close in our galaxy. Oops, witchcraft. I didn't say that. You can't know. So you don't know how close they are to each other because they might look close, right? Look, uh, these two look close, but wait a minute. They're very different distances away, aren't they? <gasps> That's where. Oh, I have no idea of that. That was that way. If you kind of look, you might start to pick up other things. Oh, straight. <gasps> UFO. Uh, People have been able to oh, colors. Your eye is not going to capture that. When you capture light and you keep layering it and layering it, you start seeing that there's color out there. Now your naked eye, however, can pick out some color. Now there's techniques for getting color too. You can kind of smear your image and look, look, there's different colors. Colors are going to be important. We're just naked eye. And even with your naked eye in a dark sky, you can talk about this. Colors. Wow. Look at the colors. I mean, wow. I mean, you'd have to have a lot of coffee to see that, or a good telescope, okay? Now, notice the dust. So that can also dim a star. And I just want to come back here really quickly and then come back to this. How bright, remember in review, it's always good to review, how bright a star appears depends on the distance away from us and the luminosity. So I can sub summarize this like that. How much light it gives off and how far away. Also, dust. So let's take a look. Let's, let's do this. Let's Let me quick work. You've got the book and you can imprint it by looking at it different ways. All right. So um, you can see star colors. Yeah, you can. Now I want to make a note. This is an important note. I think I'll use a different color just so it stands out a little bit. Uh, two, you can with your naked eye see kind of star colors or combinations of colors, if you will. And we're going to talk about this in, in chapter 10 and 11. And basically, with your naked eye, you can pick out if you're in a dark sky and you dark adapt it, and look at any white light for 15 to 20, 20 minutes is good. Um, then what you can see is kind of a, kind of an orange red or red orange. Oops, pull off. Orange red, red orange. Um, you can see, sorry. And, uh, Kind of a reddish orange, whatever. Hard to tell the difference. It almost looks yellowish, frankly, to me. Um, in fact, though, you, you can see yellow stars, and I actually have a yellow pen. I'm not sure why, and I don't know if you can see this. Uh, why do you make a yellow dry erase pen? But I guess if you're using it yourself, there are yellow stars. Let me outline that guy yellow. So know these, know these four shades, yellow. 
Um, you can also tell that some stars are very just kind of pure white. So there are white stars. And you will also see that there are stars that have kind of a bluish tint to them. So we'll call them a blue-white star. A couple of interesting things. When our eye looks at these, we're getting all the light it gives off, and it combines in our eye. And, and uh, because of that, and I won't go, we'll go into it a little bit later, but there are no green looking stars, and there are no purple looking stars. And that's an interesting thing, but we can't go that deeply. We can just know this is what I see. I don't know. I don't know why. Right? Okay, so you can see star colors, know those four shades. Great, what else can you see? Ah, can you see how far apart they actually are? No, because you don't know how far away they are from you. They can look close, but in fact be very different distances, right? So let's put that up there, clean this up. We're getting there, and we're really, we're really moving on now. Let's see, uh, let me, uh, well, well, let me just do, do this. You know, um, one, two, and the number five. Say those are stars. If those were all stars, which two are closer to each other? You don't know. Maybe one is really, really far away. And maybe these are the same distance. Then these two would be closer because that's really far that way. But you can't tell. But they appear closer. These two appear closer. And if you take something, you look at anything, point at some, somebody, and then point at somebody else, just stand there, they'll think you're weird, uh, and point, you'll notice that you make an angle. You make an angle with your arms. And so if you point at one thing and the other, you make an angle. And so what you can tell is their visual separation. Some people call it visual separation. Some people call it apparent separation. I like to call it angular separation. People call it that too. So I'm going to put up here angular separation. You can tell. You can tell these look closer together, but I don't know if they really are. So number three is, this is an important point, angular, all this is, separation. And we'll be getting to that in chapter two in a bit. Okay, angular, also called visual or apparent separation. So you can, you can look at them. In fact, you can see stars that are grouped together and you can connect the dots and you can make patterns and you can make up names and you can make up stories, as I've said. So what else? Well, you can make up patterns. I mean, if you draw your dots of what you see and don't connect them and I draw my dots, they're all gonna look, it's gonna look the same. Now how you make up the story is different. So it's gonna look the same. And you will see kind of patterns, if you will. But again, you are making, when you connect the dots, when you make a dog and I make a, a car, or whatever, horse, uh, that's just make-believe. But we'd still see the same ones and we'd see them at the same times and we notice things. So we'd agree on that and go, oh, I like your story. Oh, I like my, there's stories, it's fine. No need to argue over that, right? So, um, stories are made up not real that's important what the Greek
patterns are going to rule your life, it, I mean, it's fine. That's your story. I got stories over down here in Africa, right? South America. Doesn't make sense. Like, lots of good stories. Tells about the people, and that's very interesting. Now, there's one other thing, and this is the last bit. And this is important. What you would notice out there looking, watching the sky, why? Because you got nothing else to do at night, right? You make music, hang out with the campfire, and chat with people. That's pretty cool, right? Sometimes the old ways are good ways. Make up stories. But you'd watch that the, you'd see that stars all keep together, but they move. And it depends on which way you're looking. Are you looking south? Or are you looking north? This is important. We're going we're gonna to start to have more detail in our observations with this one. So I'm going to go over here, and uh, I wonder if I should cut this. Maybe that's enough. You want to pause? Um, yeah. yeah. Let me pause, and let's talk about star patterns in just a moment. Star pattern, excuse me, star pattern motion, the motion of the patterns. And then we will be done with noticing what you can notice with your naked eye. 